we're on the ground in Munich and Huawei has a nice little surprise for us. A high fashion companion to the Mate 9 with styling by Porsche Design. This phone diverges from the regular Mate 9 in a couple key areas. First, the screen shrinks to a 5.5 inch display and the resolution bumps up to a proper Quad HD 2560 by 1440. The screen features a curve which the rear of the phone matches, a symmetry bringing the edges of this phone to 3 millimeters of thickness. A design trick we've seen before, but one which will hopefully last a bit longer on store shelves. The fingerprint sensor also migrates from the rear of the phone to under the display where this mate inherits the gestures found on Huawei's recent tablet offerings. And the headphone jack jumps from the top of the phone to the bottom, occupying the spot where we would normally have a second empty vent opposite the main phone speaker. Otherwise, we have a very similar experience to that found on the standard version of the phone, Kirin 960 chipset, Leica dual camera system, a large 4000 milliamp hour battery with crazy fast charging specs, and 64 gigabytes of storage with the option for dual SIM support in certain regions. With this move though, Huawei is trying to address some of the lifestyle issues found in building a phone fan following. The emotional side of owning a gadget. Does it fit your fashion? Does it look good? Huawei executives hope this is the magical combo of high-tech components and emotional touches to design details that will convince consumers to pony up the cash for premium pricing. That premium landing at 1,359 euro. Does the Porsche-designed Mate 9 light your fire? Will this PD logo on the back motivate some sales in the luxury crowd? Drop us your thoughts in a comment down below this video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for our full Mate 9 coverage. We've already posted a hands-on with the regular version of the phone, and we'll have more reviews and comparisons soon. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next video.